During the survey phase of development, when asked what was their favorite band, one answer came up consistently among the youth. Soja. What you doing to me? True love's message of empowerment resonated strongly with Palawan youth, struggling to maintain their island identity in a time of modernization. It never occurred to anyone that Soja could possibly come to Palau for a concert. No one except for Generation Now executive producer Cassie Berg. And so who did you contact to? Try to make arrangements. Somebody from here in Palau told somebody, and mm. they found oh, out. Through the coconut wire. You know, word of mouth. Yeah, through the coconut wire. There was some kind of like coconut wire. Yeah, okay. There you go. Yeah. And like then that. somebody contacted us and said, "You want to come to Palau?" And we said, "Yes." Yeah. Man. There was some kind of fabricated letter, and mm. I don't even know. <laughs> So we had a young girl tell us who lived in Guam and who was uh, hipper and cooler than, than certainly I am that there was a new group that was really attractive to the islanders called Soja. Well, I live in the Don St. John's and I have a caretaker and he happens to be a reggae ambassador and he mentioned that Soja was going, wanted to go to Palau but they found out that the bank like became bankrupt so they couldn't really come to Palau and so I, when I came home for spring break, I told my brother, like, hey, they wanted, they wanted to come to Palau, but they couldn't, so too bad, because I was teasing my brother. And so, but then he, like, he said, maybe, maybe my work could, like, be done here. My sister uh, was giving me a hard time about how a uh, soldier was coming to Guam. So I just uh, kind of mentioned it to Cassie, saying, hey, you're going to Guam, maybe we can uh, get him over to Palau. And, uh, that's when Cassie wrote her infamous letter. Having no idea whether that letter would reach them and in a short time frame whether we would get a response. One day later, we got a response from Soja and it was really um, fortuitous that we had asked them at the same time that they had been pondering coming to Palau. Drawn by Generation Now's positive message and the prospect of doing something that had never been done before in Palau, Soja agreed to come play two shows at the Ngara Amayong Cultural Center, January 20th and January 21st. Despite the large expense of bringing a band of Soja stature to Palau, the decision was made to make both nights alcohol-free and to keep it affordable for youth. Their only requirement was that they sign up to become Gen Now members. Inspired by the commitment to remain alcohol-free, Community sponsors step up to provide financial as well as emotional support. The Ngara Amayong Cultural Center, having never been used to host this kind of event, was transformed into a full-on rock concert hall, complete with big screen video and special effects stage light. It was evident on many faces of the youth that this was their first true concert experience and something they would never forget. Being involved in the concert with the backstage passes and the all access stuff like that. That was really cool because I've never been to any concert. The Gen Now concert was awesome because I got to be a cameraman and uh, I was on stage with the band as they performed. Yeah, all of you in the front row, got nothing on me. Like, hey, go there and hype them up. It's the last number encore of the show. And I got up and I was nervous. My heart was pounding. You lose everything. Even your sanity. I even fixed uh, Bird, the drummer. Me and Whitney went and then got Pilona and fixed his chew and then gave it to him. The band embraced the magnitude of what was going on and summed it up so perfectly in their Be True to Yourself anthem, Rasta Courage. Yeah, so this song is called Rasta Courage. 
And it really does take a lot of courage to do something a little bit different, to go against the mainstream of the people that are, that are going on around you. And I know that, uh, that part of what Generation Now is all about is that you guys are trying to make a change for yourselves. And that's what we're all about too, you know what I mean? That's what we're about. Not give up no faith. The first night was magical, and the second night would not be outdone. At the end of Soldier's Encore, a spontaneous gesture ended up becoming the defining moment of Generation Now. We were at the side, and then they're like, go in front of the people. So we went in front, and then we were just jumping and screaming, having fun. And then the next thing you know, like people are like, the, the Gen Now members on, uh, like in front, they just held hand and they just walked in, like, on stage. I remember a lot of kids came up and then we were like dancing and I couldn't believe I was just up there with the soldier. Singing next to Jacob at the Soja concert sort of like uh, made me go blank I guess you could say. I was like really nervous and all I could think was don't mess it up but I think <laughs> The Soja concerts have reached legendary status and are still talked about to this day. But with one more phase and one more quarter to come, what could possibly be next?